After a sneak peek at the second generation MKX, Lincoln took the veils off the thing at this edition of the Detroit Auto Show. Glancing at the 2016 MKX from a distance will lead you to believe this not the typical body swap job that comes with sharing the same platform as the 2015 Ford Edge, but as soon as you hop inside, you'll be a little disappointed. I confess I'm a big fan of the split-wing grille of the modern crop of Lincoln models, but the highlight aesthetic feature of the front fascia comes in the form of the optional adaptive LED headlights. If my imagination isn't playing tricks on me, the cluster's arrangement resembles a little to the eyes of a bird of prey, giving the 2016 MKX a majestic persona. Thankfully for the target consumer group the 2016 Lincoln MKX is aimed at, designers didn't go balls out with the black plastic cladding. Compared to the 2015 Ford Edge, the posher MKX seems a tad more athletic and better proportioned. Another big difference between the two CD4 platform sharing brothers comes in the form of a steeply raked rear windshield and wraparound tail lights which make the MKX look wider and a little lower to the ground. Prepare to be let down once you open the driver's door via a touchscreen combination lock. All things considered, a volume manufacturer such as Ford cannot go without sharing platforms and switch gear between its models. But whereas the platform cannot be seen because of the elegant bodywork, the cabin is in plain view for everyone, not just for the driver of this mid-size crossover. Other than the push-button automatic gearbox that flanks the sync media system touchscreen, you'll be hard-pressed to find any switch gear or design detail that can't be found on the 2015 Ford Edge as well. Moreover, the new Edge's interior is shared with the Fusion slash Mondeo. Even the air vents, pedal box, the floating center console and steering wheel are virtually the same. That really bugs me considering I have to pay a lot more money on an MKX compared to an Edge. In addition to this inexcusable cost cutting, the other big problem from the driver's point of view comes in the form of the A-pillar. Safety is important these days, but engineers went overboard with its sheer thickness. This will pose some problems when you negotiate an intersection. On a different note, I am enticed by the button that reads glove box, the premium leather seats and rever audio system. Slated to start deliveries in the third quarter of the current year, customers of the 2016 Lincoln MKX can spend a hell of a lot of money on options, but you might be more interested about the available powertrains. A 6-speed automatic and 2 WD are standard features, as is the entry-level 3.7, Litter V6 engine with over 300 HP and 280 lb feet, 379 Nm, of torque. If you really want to roll in style, we suggest to go for the AWD system, as well as the 2.7 Echo Boost V6 that churns out 330 plus HP and 370 plus lb feet, 501 Nm.